Attention, please. The check-in counter will be closing shortly. If you have not boarded at that time, Yuri, you will have the waiting Yuri, for your uh, departure. Don't Thank just stand there while the guy didn't come on. Yuria, Ryuga, it's time to leave. Are you ready to go? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. If you're going to board, it'll have to be now. Yuria! Uh. Yuria! Excuse me. Yes, sir? This is an odd request, but can you delay this flight? I believe something is very wrong. Something's wrong? Sir, please tell me you're joking. <sighs> Come back! <sighs> there you are! What's wrong? Are you afraid of flying? You know you can tell me anything, right? <laughs> Darn! Looks like they left without us. going to happen to that airplane. You mean, it was the voice from the heavens. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> There's no need to cry. What happened to them isn't your fault. This is the unavoidable course that fate has deemed necessary. Listen to me. No matter what your future holds, you should never fear this power. It was bestowed upon you by the heavens for a reason. And someday, you will understand its purpose. Here, let's make a promise. Until that day, I swear that I, Dharma, will always be here to protect you. Aligned in the heavens are seven fateful stars, and on the earth below, a deadly martial arts technique has been passed down for thousands of years. Hokuto Shinken. A devastating technique in which one focuses all their energy into a single strike on their opponent's pressure points, causing their foe to rupture from the inside out. Because this deadly art form commands such unbridled, destructive power, it is bestowed only on a single destined person each generation, passed down from father to son.
Master Ryoken, I would like you to meet Yuria. We're glad you're here, Yuria. Does your pup have a name yet? I believe that the dog was abandoned outside of the temple, near the front gate. Yuria picked him up. Dharma, you didn't tell me she was a mute. No, she isn't. However, I am afraid that she has closed her heart. I see. I remember hearing that her parents passed when she was still young. Such a shame. Well... Perhaps you would like to know a bit about the boys I brought to live here as my sons. That one is Rao, the oldest. The second oldest is Toki. And then there's Jagi. This, this is the youngest of the four, Kenshiro. By the gods, he made her smile. Dharma, there's no need to worry. I see all I need to know by looking in her eyes. She'll be ready for what lies ahead. The unstoppable madness of humanity surged forward, one fatal misstep following the next, inexorably bound toward the world's end. Civilizations were reduced to rubble and violence consumed the land like a cancer. Those who remained to wander this living hell prayed desperately for a true savior to appear, someone who could finally return peace to this ruined planet. Toby! Toby! Toby, where do you get all this energy from? You know that you're not as young as you used to be. It's more than a bit uncanny. Huh? I swear he hasn't aged a day. Meanwhile, it seems that my old bones get stiffer every morning. I recall hearing once that dogs like him were originally bred for fighting. I suspect he's learned something of our martial art over the years. He truly is an amazing creature. Master, are you feeling all right? Listen, Yoria, my time only grows shorter, and so perhaps the day has come for me to name my successor. I sensed that this day was not far off. Once I make my decision, I know that each of my sons will leave to forge their own paths in the world. And now I wonder where it is your heart might lead you. I would go with Kenshiro. That will be the most difficult path of all. I know. But I cannot ignore the voice from the heavens. I understand. Wild tiger like this can feel your intent. You must subdue the beast using the assassin's martial art before he attacks. <laughs> 
see, Kenshiro. The tiger never considered you an enemy worth attacking in the first place. This proves that I deserve to become the successor of Hokuto Shinken, not you. It is my right alone. No. Kenshiro proved himself to be more formidable. Even a wild beast was prepared to accept its death before him. But in front of you, Rao, all it sensed was fear. It is as though I can hear the voice from the heavens myself. was a successor! Why won't you say something? Why aren't you furious? How could he choose that pathetic whelp? You know that any one of us could defeat him easily! <laughs> Don't tell me that you're both useless cowards! Once the battle of succession is over, we'll lose our ability to use Hoko Shigen's power! In the past, the losers have been intentionally crippled, while others are stripped of their memories! It has always been the rule that only one is allowed to carry on Okto Shinken! I won't stand idly by! I won't let my youngest brother, my inferior in every way, ruin everything I've worked so hard for! <laughs> Jage will attempt to murder Kenshiro. There's no stopping him now, but he'll fail. Still, Kenshiro won't be able to kill him either. He's far too soft. Father has made a grave mistake. It's time for Hokuto Shinken to come to an end. It's not too late for you to grovel before Father. Just tell him you don't want to be his successor. Joggy, what do you think you're doing? We both know you don't have what it takes to follow in his footsteps. Did you really think we should stand by and watch you squander his power? Don't make me laugh. Go on. Tell him. What the hell is that lot? <clears throat> well, if you object, then fight me with your fists. Shut up! Screw martial arts! I'm going to win by any means necessary! You call yourself the successor? Do back my laugh! Now die, you bastard! Hope to sink it! Belongs to me! Juggy, that's enough. <laughs> How dare you walk away from me? Your martial arts can't stop a bullet! <laughs> <laughs> No more! You wouldn't kill me, would you? That is the rule of Hokuto, isn't it? No! 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 You were never fit to be the successor. <laughs> you poor stupid idiot. You should have killed me while you had the chance. But you'll know soon enough that it was a mistake to let me live. That pity of yours will be your undoing. <laughs> this isn't over yet. Remember, I will be the one who destroys you.
Tell me what happened to your face. That matter is irrelevant. We have something more important to discuss. I know you have feelings for Yuri Ashin. I think you should take her. <laughs> Kenshiro is too weak. He won't last long in this world. It's only a matter of time before he loses Yuria to someone more powerful. They're preparing to journey into the wasteland. Once they've left the temple, someone of your power could easily challenge him. Neither Rao nor Toki will interfere if you move swiftly enough. God may have turned his face from us, but the devil smiles. And just where do the two of you think you're going? <laughs> Toby, quiet. They say that might makes right. What a wonderful time to be alive. The strong are free to take whatever it is they desire. There's no reason for hesitation. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, Yuria will be coming with me. What? Shin, please. I've already chosen to go with Kenshiro. Mm. Now stand aside and let us pass. Utterly beautiful. I think I might just love you even more when you're angry. But I would rather see you dead than allow Kenshiro to have you. <laughs> Tell me, which will you choose? Well... <laughs> have you lost your mind? Hokuto and Nanto must be balanced. Together our power is unrivaled, but conflict between us will only lead to disaster! And your point would be? I intend to use my South Star Lone Eagle Fist to take whatever I desire, including Yuria. You can't have my love through force. <laughs> Perhaps you're right, but that doesn't mean I won't try. <laughs> Your desire to protect Yuria has clearly dulled your fists. <laughs> Though it's laughable that you ever thought you could defeat me, there's always been a crucial difference between the two of us. Care to guess what? It's pure desire and tenacity. That is what transforms my love for Yuria into strength. Enough! <laughs> well, Yuria, if you're so determined to save him... Tell me that you love me, and I'll allow him to live. Don't do this, Sheen. If you kill him, then I'll die too. You're the only one here who can stop me now, Yuria. All you have to do is say it. Just kill me. Get it over with already? Ken! If that's what you want, I'm happy to oblige. I've always hated you. Truth be told, I've been waiting a long time to do this. <laughs> Die! Stop it! Yuria, don't! I... I love you. What did you say? Do you really think such a timid whisper will be enough to move my heart? Say it again! I love you! I'll stay by your side for the rest of my life! Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you hear that, Kenshiro? Only a moment ago, she utterly despised me. A woman's heart can be so fickle. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> off that, will you? You still gotta manage the cattle. <laughs> Who, them? Those dumb bastards won't be any trouble for us. <laughs> there they are! Get that door open! Quit dragging your feet! We're only gonna tell you once! No! No, please don't! Ah! Ah! The number of new slaves you've brought me has been decreasing. Why is that? <clears throat> it's because of Ken O, my lord. His army is quite powerful. It's been more difficult lately for us to move inside their territory. Damn you, Rao. Well, Rao, sir. That was Keno's name once when he was a child. We knew each other a long time ago. My Kenshiro, I waited as long as I could. I've tried to hold out hope that she would come back. I can't stay here anymore. I don't know how else to stop Sheen's madness, and I won't watch him cause even more suffering. Toby. Be a good boy, and bring this to Kenshiro. Give him what's left of my heart. Sweet Toby, goodbye. Yuria, I have something for you. <laughs> Come here. Let me show you. I want to know what you think of this emerald necklace. I think it would suit you to wear something so elegant. There's a ruby ring as well. You can keep whichever ones you like. The emeralds remind me of the color a person's face turns after they've died. What? And when I see rubies, all I can think of is blood. What do you want from me, Yuria? I built the city of Southern Cross for you. Everything you see, every tree, every blade of grass, every single inhabitant is yours. What else can I give you? Just tell me what you want. There is nothing you have that will change my heart. You're still in love with him, aren't you? Sheen. I've watched you pillage and slaughter, trying to buy my love. I seek only to please you. As long as I stay here, innocent people will continue to suffer. I'm very sorry, but your madness has spread for too long. It has to end. Oh, Yuria, wait! Goodbye, Sheen. Yuria, stop! Ken, I only wish I could have kept my promise. Yuria! <laughs> why? Yuria, why? <laughs> Yuria!
Is this a miracle? It can't be. If I didn't know, I'd have thought she was sleeping. <gasps> She's alive. Yuria. <clears throat> we are the ones who saved her. Who are you? One of the five chariot stars of the South Star. Rihaku of the Ocean. And I am his daughter, To. I am known as Fudo of the Mountains. We have come here to retrieve the Lady Yuria. It is our solemn duty to put our lives before Lady Yuria's. Her birthright is the Southern Star. You don't mean to suggest it. Impossible. It's true. That is the reason why Master Ryukin originally took her in when she was a child. It was out of his compassion and respect for the South Star. I understand. I'd always wondered. Still, your help here is unnecessary. Yuria is mine, and it's my responsibility to protect her. I'm afraid that's no longer possible. A terrifying army of berserkers is headed this way. What? Rihaku! Fudo! We need to get her to safety! Rao's forces are closing in! Rao? But he... how? Nearly all the local warlords under your command have chosen to surrender to Rao rather than face him and be destroyed. He is the supreme ruler of this world. Lord Sheen, do you truly believe that you can stand against an army led by one of the strongest Hokuto warriors and still protect Lady Yuria? You're not the only one who loved her. He is on his way here with the sole intent of taking Yuria from you. <laughs> Damn him. Lord Sheen, I'm sure that you are well aware of his temperament. And when he realizes Yuria will never return his love, he'll murder her without a second thought. Protect her. Mm. Get out of here. If Rao believes that she is dead, he won't pursue you. Lord Sheen, I assume you will cover her escape by taking the blame for her death. Even though it will paint an even bigger target on my back. I know that Kenshiro is coming to settle our score, but until then, keep her alive no matter what it takes. His pride begets his misery. He is determined to fight Kenshiro, and in the end, he will die for his love. I trust that you've rested well. Who are you? I am Rihaku, a humble servant of the last Nanto general. The last Nanto general? It is at his bidding that I came here to save you. He also hopes that you would meet with him. What of Sheen? I... Let your heart be at ease. That is the sound of Rao's troops. They have Sheen surrounded in Southern Cross. He's completely immobilized. Did you say Rao? You don't mean Rao of Hokuto. Yes, and he is bound by the unwavering path of a man who seeks to conquer this world. A conqueror. We'll begin the journey to our stronghold tomorrow. But I'm sure that as we travel, you'll be able to see what Rao has become.
Jean's forces have completely surrendered to us. How would you prefer to deal with him knowing that he killed Lady Yuria? Leave him. It's a matter of time before Kenshiro does the job for us. He's a walking corpse. Have you heard the rumors about Kenshiro? It would seem that people have begun worshipping him as their messiah. If he were to eliminate Sheen, their voices might reach a new crescendo. <laughs> Let them enjoy their fantasy. Once I butcher their messiah in front of them, they'll learn that I am the only certainty in this world. Then we will be finished. Now move out! Yes, my lord. Is that really the Fist King? Don't look him in the eye, or he'll have you killed. It's just a devil who clawed his way to the surface. So this is what Rao has become. He rules both his soldiers and his subjects through absolute fear. It is because of that that nearly every sect of Nanto Seiken has sworn obedience to him without question. Only that monster Mayo, who calls himself the Lord of the Dead, is mad enough to challenge him openly. Lord, is there something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Just a distant memory. Those cries of the innocents echo through this land. We have been traveling for three days now, Lady Yodia, and seen countless spectacles of misery and despair. I'm afraid that reality is unlikely to change, no matter how far our journey takes us. This is the true nature of Kino's path, or rather Rao, as you once knew him. Is this the fortress of the last Nanto general? Yes. Why does he want to meet with me? He is the only one who can tell you that. Lady Yuria is here to see you. Yuria, thank you for coming. You're the last Nanto general? I lost track of how much time has passed while I've waited for this day. <coughs> General! Tell me, what is it you saw while on your journey here? In the end, it was all the same. Rao's reign of terror. And how does that make you feel? I feel nothing. Love, dreams. All lost within an infinite blackness. Void of hope. You did not sense even the faintest light within that darkness? None I could see, except for the barest hint of a man's face. Who was it you saw? It was Kenshiro, the only one I ever truly loved. Of course. Who else could it be? You have already seen all that you were meant to see. There is no reason for us to continue this way. <coughs> <coughs> Listen to me, Yuria. Rao's dark ambitions threaten to overwhelm this planet and swallow it whole. Should he manage to defeat the army of the Holy Emperor Souther, then nothing will stand in his way. You are the only one who can secretly unite the people and ensure that Kenshiro is there to lead them. Kenshiro? Yes. He is the savior of this world and he must defeat Rao for the sake of our future. Why are you telling me this? Huh? Toby, wait! Toby, it's been so long. I've missed you. Show me, who are you? Excuse me, Lady Yuria. <gasps> Dorm. 
Mama. Mm, you are the keystone. You were always meant to reunite the sect of Nanto Seiken as the last Nanto general, born under the merciful Mother Star from the rightful Nanto bloodline. How can I be the last Nanto general? When Nanto falls to chaos, Hokuto will appear, and in response, someone must emerge as the last Nanto general. This has always been the way of things. Once the North and South Stars have united, a miracle will take place. That is why you were given the power of prophecy. It was meant for a time such as this. That power has left me with nothing but grief. And yet fate held this in store. I know the pain this fate has brought you, and how long you have waited. And now, there is no need for you to wait any longer. <laughs> Keep my promise to bring you to this moment. Thank you, Dharma. You've never failed me. I finally understand the purpose of my destiny. on, I will wear your mask as the last Nanto General. Degenerates. Look at the way she's running. She's toying with them. Brave of her. I wouldn't say that. Only a fool would taunt such bandits. <laughs> That's enough! <laughs> Let me get a taste already! <laughs> You're giving me blue balls! If she's hot, we can sell her after. How about it, babe? Let's see the goods. If you're a good little girl, we might even give you some food. But first things first. Yes, about that. What the? I'll be taking your supplies. Ooh, we got ourselves a guy. I knew that disguising myself would be a quick way to bring the scum of the earth from under their rock. Who's good? Filthy maggots like you don't offer much, but I can usually count on you for at least one thing. What's that supposed to mean? It means that I'll be taking all of your food for myself. I've had enough of you! Let's get out! I wasn't done yet. There's something I still need to ask you. Have you heard of a man who has seven scars on his chest? Screw you, asshole! I see. So that's a no? Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> Some weird lines on you. Look at your face. So do you. That's the South Star Waterfowl Fist. Good eye. Bring him to me. Alive. You there. Mind showing me your face real quick? Let's see. What's wrong? Got any food? Sorry, nothing on me. But I can show you a trick if you like. Don't move. My technique allows me to manipulate the air currents around us. 
What is this? Who are you? We belong to the Five Chariot Stars of the South Star. We take orders directly from the last Nanto general. You will be coming with us. <clears throat> Make one false move, and you're dead. I'm gonna assume that you're the last Nanto general. So what is it you want with me? Why are you searching for a man with scars on his chest? Not just any scars. Exactly seven of them. What has he done to you? That monster kidnapped my little sister, just as she was about to marry the man she loved. He showed up out of nowhere, murdered her fiancé, and then took my sister for himself. I have to find him. And when I do, I'll kill him. Such sad eyes. <clears throat> what are you doing? I can see your star of destiny. <laughs> Yours is the star of justice. Those born beneath that star can see such beauty in life. But your sadness has clouded that sight. What? You must find the man with scars on his chest in the shape of the Big Dipper. So he is of Hokuto then? Speak with him. Learn the measure of his heart. Once you do, your lonely journey will come to an end. Tell me this man's name. Kenshiro. Kenshiro. Now go. Quickly. You still have a long road ahead of you. Are you sure that was wise? There's still a chance that he might become Kenshiro's enemy. No. Rei was always meant to be his friend. I have seen the path that lies before him, the destiny reflected in his eyes. And once this winter is over, it will be time for our final battle to begin. sounds of spring thunder. Mm. With that, it would seem winter has moved on. Is there no end to Rao's ambition? Perhaps, but it's becoming more difficult for him. Now that Holy Emperor Souther has assumed his place as the wolf in the fold. You think he is dangerous? Souther has given his allegiance to Rao, but he is already plotting against him so that he can take control for himself. There is no doubt that Rao is aware of this, but there is a reason why he continues to hold back. Why is that? Pressure point attacks cannot be used on Souther. That is a steep disadvantage for Hokuto practitioners. But if Rao fails to stop Souther's rise, the Holy Emperor could accumulate enough power to challenge him directly. For the time being, he hesitates. Hmm? We should gather. <coughs> General! General! <clears throat> Lady Yuria! General! To hmm? I need Toki! <clears throat> Bring me to Toki! <sighs> Toki of the Hokuto? Take me as the last Nanto General! <clears throat> <clears throat> Just hold on a little while longer. Toki should be just beyond this bridge. I see. So, this is the last Nanto general. The general is essential to the future of humanity. I hope you understand the... There's no need to worry, I'll take care of it. 
This is going to make you sleepy for a while. Doki. This way, to the underground shelter! So sorry. We can only fit one more. Perhaps two if we all squeeze in together. But we're going to have to live like this for several days at least. It's all right. I can leave. I don't have much longer left anyway. Come in, please, and take my spot. Toki! Toki, wait! Can't sit all. You have to take care of Yuria. Toki. <clears throat> Brother! Toki! Please, wake up! Is he alive? Hey... Toki... My brother... You're okay. Perhaps it would have been best if he had become the successor to Hokuto Shinken. You should be feeling better now. I'm curious, why do you continue to keep your mask on even though you're amongst friends? I swore that I would wear it. Until peace has returned to our world. I understand. Then I take it you were the one who helped Ray. Ray? Yes. I first heard about you from him. Actually, I have something here he wanted me to give you. For me? I had intended to deliver it to you someday soon. But destiny always seems to have its own plans. Is that...? I know, it's white, but it's Ray's. White hair? Does that mean Ray is...? Dead. <gasps> yes, he was killed by Rao. Ray challenged him in order to protect Kenshiro. A reckless choice. Rao struck Ray with a blow that would have been fatal in three days. There was only one pressure point that could have counteracted the effects of that technique. By striking that point, I was able to prolong his life a while longer. However, it came at the price of excruciating pain throughout his entire body. A lesser man would have died of agony on the spot. But Ray endured it. He withstood the pain. Eventually, his hair turned pure white. I ask that you give this to the last Nanto general. Of course, I'll do what I can. She's the reason I met Kenshiro, and why I'm still alive. Back when I was searching for my lost sister, I had already given up on the world and everyone upon it. If you can imagine someone who had abandoned their very humanity, I was nearly there, but Kenshiro pulled me back from the brink, even when I thought I had nothing left. He was the one who brought me back to the person that I once was. And that is why I owe the General my undying thanks. This is a mark of his gratitude, as well as proof that he lived a beautiful, honorable life. I 
expect the final battle against Rao is going to begin soon. How do you know about our plan? Has something happened to Souther's army? Kenshiro has recently joined with the resistance against Souther. <sighs> he did what? Although they may be enemies, brothers will still be brothers. Souther cannot be defeated by Rao's attacks, but Kenshiro is still willing to face him. If he succeeds, he would finally surpass even Rao. Your aura. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... You have the same aura as someone with whom my brothers and I were once close. They were hopelessly in love, but she was as dear to me as a sister. Toki, I... It's not important now. It's only a matter of time before Souther is defeated. And then it won't be long before the final battle between you and Rao. Look at them all. There's so many. Every last one of them intends to aid us in the fight against Rao and his army. They heard our cry for help and have flocked here from every province. It's incredible. With so many, we may stand a chance. Why do they all wear white cloth around their arms? I've been told they seek to follow Kenshiro's example. He saved so many across every corner of the world. He's become a living legend. They see him as the epitome of courage in these dark times. He is their savior. Souther has captured Kinshiro! <gasps> the Resistance is on their way to rescue him, but the Holy City may be too heavily guarded. Chances are that he won't last long. Then we'll have to be the ones to rescue him. We'll never be able to face Rao without Kenshiro! <laughs> Shiva. Hey, would you look at that? Either I'm crazy or that's the idiot who thought he could stand up to Souther. I bet we could get a pretty penny by selling his head. Hell, they might even give us a promotion for catching him. <laughs> what the hell? Get off, you stupid dog! God damn it! Well done, Toby. Time to finish off the rest of these rats. he can make it. Rao is on his way. He's close. He'll be able to save Kenshiro. So then? You want to leave him? <laughs> Kenshiro, I think I finally realized how you must have felt on that day. Your whole life you've always walked the path of a savior. And I am destined to walk that path with you. As long as we are bound by fate, I will always be there to protect you. Your flying days are done, Phoenix. Your wings have been torn off. So be it! I have no need of wings! I am still the Holy Emperor Souther! I am still the Lord of the South Zipper! I won't retreat! I won't beg! I refuse to change course! I will not stop until you are dead! <laughs> So he used your technique to kill him. I am still the Holy Emperor! Hokuto Shinjin will not be my end! Kinshiro, ungrateful. Thank you for being my final opponent.
Punkt. Steady, Koko. This isn't the time for our final battle. Hmm? Do you mean you'll be withdrawing? <laughs> for a while. These people will see Kenshiro as their new messiah after witnessing him defeat the Holy Emperor. No need to smother the flames while they're still growing. What are you plotting? I want the tales of what he did today to become the stuff of legends. That way, when I am the one to strike down the world's greatest hope, they will not doubt that I am the world's supreme ruler. Kenshiro! We will face one another soon enough! Toby! Toby. I suppose he couldn't bear to wait any longer. Rihaku, it's all becoming clear to me. Huh? Toby was also born under a star of destiny. He has always connected Kenjiro's feelings to my own, which is the duty of the Star of Loyalty, bringing the North Star and South together. He fulfilled that duty. Toby, I know that it's time for you to leave me. Even though you may never have understood your purpose, you laid down your life for us again and again. You listened to the will of the heavens and carried us with you. But it was only possible for me to see your destiny just as you're ready to leave. I'm glad you stayed with us as long as you could. Now you can rest. The Dog of Destiny, Toby. Can you see what lies ahead, General? Do you know what the outcome will be in the final battle between Kinshiro and Rao? I can't. It's hidden from me, like a dark cloud over the horizon. But I know that I was meant to stand by his side. That has always been my fate.
This place is incredible. Ken, why do Toki and Rao need to come here to fight? This place is of great significance for both of them. A long time ago, a stream ran here beneath a beautiful waterfall. Rao and I took our first steps into Hokuto Shinken together by that water's shimmering edge. And it was then that we made a promise. He's here. <laughs> Kokuo! At last, the time has come. Let us fulfill our promise, Toki. This wounded, suffering world can ill afford so cold a savior as you. My brother! Any regrets? I chose this path myself, and I regret nothing. Well spoken, little brother. And so it shall be. I will cast restraint aside and face you with everything I have as a martial artist. The promise we both made in the spring of our youth. Let's see it done. Beneath the seven aligned stars of the heavens, the martial art known as Hokuto Shinken has been passed down from generation to generation for 1,800 years. An assassin's art that marshals extraordinary destructive force, its secrets have been closely guarded, entrusted, only to a single successor. However, there are three prodigies who currently lay claim to its legacy. Had the three been born in different eras, each would have become the successor to Hokuto Shinken in their own right. Of the three prodigies, one was destined to endure a cruel and sorrowful ordeal. The name of that prodigy is Toki.
beautiful. Toki's hundred rending fists of the North Star. It's like a graceful dance, isn't it, Ken? It's more than that, Yuria. Every one of those strikes would accurately hit an opponent's vital points. It's like a blade made of ice. You praise too highly, Kenshiro. <clears throat> Toki's dance is the dance of the Grim Reaper. Anyone careless enough to be taken in by its beauty will die. Hello, Rao. Remember, Toki. A blade of ice may well be beautiful, but it's a fragile thing. Such a blade could never pierce my body. Never, Rao. Ken. It's okay. The only thing Hokuto Shinken needs is sheer strength. Beauty has no value here. The competition between them for the title as successor seems to be getting worse. Yes. And what of you, Kenshiro? <laughs> Hokuto Shinken has more than two disciples, don't forget that. Brother, I'm not qualified. But that decision is not yours to make. It is the master who decrees- I'll turn it down. And if tradition prohibits that, then I'll step down, naming you as my successor. Master became successor himself after his older brother passed it down to him. So the precedent for abdication exists already. You must see it too, brother. For Rao, inheriting Hokuto Shinken would only be a means to acquire power. That's not what Hokuto Shinken is about. Don't you see? You are the rightful successor. What is it, Sara? I need to speak to you about Toki. Toki? Yes. He is afflicted with a very serious illness. I believe he only has a few years left to live. I see. I do not doubt your expertise as a healer. But is Toki himself aware of all of this? Yes. And what does he say? Hokuto Shinken needs a successor. Toki believes that if word of his illness gets out, Kenshiro would step aside and Rao would inherit the title. He feels this would derail the destiny of Hokuto Shinken. I see. Even now he thinks of others. Yes. Sara, this cannot be easy for you. I will take care of the rest from here. It seems the situation abroad continues to deteriorate. Grave news indeed. A dictator with a nuclear arsenal. I fear the outcome will be unavoidable. Yes, a world consumed by nuclear war. A wasteland of violence and disorder. Mankind sent back to prehistoric chaos. Circumstances not unlike those which saw the creation of Hokuto Shinken. Indeed. And it may be too late to stop it. He who inherits Hokuto Shinken is meant to bring forth peace in times of strife. Toki, do you see the part you must play in all of this? I do. And if the coming age should find itself in need of a new successor to Hokuto Shinken, then I will do everything in my power to support them on their arduous path. <gasps> Toki... Were it not for your illness, that successor would assuredly be you. Master, what's wrong? The full moon shines rather beautifully tonight, don't you think? Right. Time creeps up on you, doesn't it?
Toki and Ryuken's fears became reality all too soon. A forbidden power that no mortal should ever have possessed was unleashed, turning Earth into Hell. Innumerable lives were consumed in an instant by the indiscriminate hunger of nuclear fire, and those who were left sought shelter from the lethal ash. Kenshiro, Yuria, this way, we have to hurry! Are you okay? Yes, but what about the others? They've already evacuated. The three of us are all that's left. Quickly, this is the last of the shelters. Get in! Go! It's coming! Toki! Don't stop! Run! So many. Time's up! Get in! Take good care of Yuria. Brother, what are you doing? It's up to you now. But why? Why, Toki? Ken, you can't. Please stop it. Even if you manage to get it open, these people won't survive the explosion's aftermath. And the room was already reaching capacity to begin with. I think... Toki knew that. <laughs> Toki... My brother! Ken... Toki... Toki! Forgive me, Kenshiro. Forgive me for putting all of the burden on you. Go. Walk the path of the Hokuto Shinken successor. Lethal Ash. So it is already here. <sighs> I suppose it was always my destiny to live a short life anyway. But before I die, I have a promise to keep. This is the fate that binds Rao and I together. <laughs> In a terrifying flash of light, human civilization and its culture disappeared. And in the darkness left behind, an age of violence took root in the ash of a barren world. Even amidst ruin, life finds a way. As I myself can attest, Love hidden in the heart. In the language of flowers, its name is Margaret. Sara. I'm surprised to see you up. You should be in bed, Toki. I feel fine, thanks to my doctor's diligent treatment, of course. Hmm. So Kenshiro has been chosen as the next successor. Yes. You seem pleased. <laughs> Some people think that Kenshiro is soft. What they fail to grasp is that life isn't about stark survival. It's about trying to find meaning in the time we are given. That's what it truly means to be human. Human? Well then, I think it's about time I got going. Going? I have an important journey to make. You can't. You're in no condition. 
I will not sit here waiting to die. Not while I am still able to be of some use to Kenshiro. <laughs> Your brother means that much to you. Sara, thank you for everything. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, Toki. I'll bring Ken here. There's no need for that. Fate will bring us together eventually. Why do this? What about your condition? There are people out there who need me. No. There are people out there who still need the art of Hokuto Shinken. The sick and the wounded, the downtrodden and bereft. I can use Hokuto Shinken to heal their wounds, ease their suffering. What of your own suffering? Toki, you saved our lives. Let us help you. Yuria, you have nothing to worry about. This is the path that I have chosen. But... Could you look after this while I'm gone? Huh? Life is strong in this flower. Take good care of it, and come next year it will bloom again. And when its petals unfold in you, think of me. That is all I will ask of you. Toki. Farewell, Yuria. Farewell. Not so fast. Toki, I want to go with you. Please, I'm a doctor. I know I can make myself useful to you. Sara, this trip will be extremely dangerous. Your life will be in danger if- I'm aware of that. But any other reason I had to stay was taken by the war. Besides, as a doctor, I can't simply let my patient go wandering off by himself. Sara. If this journey really means that much to you, then I want to be a part of it. Please, Toki. Please let me come with you. It will be a hard journey. I'm prepared for that. <laughs> then let's go. Right.
While Toki and Sara continued their journey, offering aid wherever they could, Kenshiro, the successor of Hokuto Shinken, made his own way through the violent wasteland, spilling the blood of warmongers and wicked marauders who would prey on the weak. It would not be long before the mantle of savior was laid upon his shoulders by a congress of grateful souls. Elsewhere, Rao, Taking the name Ken O, the King of Fists, wrought a road of ruin on his quest to become conqueror of the world. But even one such as Rao knew fear, fear in the form of a man. As an ally, his worth would eclipse legions, but as an enemy, he would be as the Grim Reaper, a threat ever creeping closer. That man was Toki. To spare the lives of the innocent, Toki submitted to capture by his fearful elder brother and was sealed away in the prison town of Cassandra. Get up, Toki! We're taking you out! Kenshiro's on his way, so hurry up! The last thing we need is him finding you! Now move it! I thought so, but I'm not going anywhere. Oh no? And what makes you so sure of that? Because you're too late. That wall is all there is between you and Kenshiro now. <clears throat> what? It can't be! Hello, brother. Kenshiro? <sighs> we didn't get here in time. Then I guess there's only one thing to do. Right, don't move! One more step and I'll cut his head off! Hmm. You really don't know who you're dealing with, do you? That's enough! We're not messing around here, we'll kill him! Do it then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Kino's orders are absolute! If we don't kill Toki, he'll kill us! Die, Toki! <laughs> what? There's no way! Let go! What's wrong? I thought you were going to kill him. It won't move! I thought this guy was supposed to be sick! <laughs> <laughs> North Star Sattva Fist. I'm afraid your deaths will not be quick, but they will at least be painless. What the... Uh, uh, what's happening? Your leg! Doesn't it hurt twisting like that? Uh, my heart! That's uh, so good! Uh, It's good to see you, Kenshiro. You've gotten handsome. And you... lost some weight. <laughs> Maybe. But I am still alive. Cassandra has fallen, my lord. According to our reports, Kenshiro has freed all of the prisoners we kept there, including Toki. 
Why didn't you simply kill him? If Toki and Kenshiro join forces, they could pose a greater threat than the Holy Emperor Souther. Forget them. Because they're your brothers? Sparing them may be a mercy you cannot afford, my lord. The people may see it as weak. I cut out that weakness a long time ago. Right now, our only focus is defeating Souther. Now turn your curiosity to the secret of his invulnerability. Understood? As you wish. It's time to fulfill our promise. Alright, that should about do it. Yeah, agreed. It's been another good harvest this year. Who would have thought we'd see the village flourish again like this? It's all thanks to those two. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if Toki and Sada chose to stay here for the rest of their lives. Try some. I made it out of the produce everyone brought us. I see. Thanks, Sada. What's wrong? Are you not eating? I was just thinking about the villagers. They've put on a brave face, but they're afraid you're going to leave again. If General Souther is defeated, and Rao's army becomes more powerful, it's just a matter of time before they come back here. But... If you stayed with us, Toki, then we would... Sara. I only came back to say goodbye to you. <sighs> Kenshiro challenged and defeated the Holy Emperor Souther, and he did it all by himself, which even Rao wouldn't do. And so, brother, it seems the board has been left clear for you, but take heed. People will not be bound by fear. That's true. I can't rule the way he did. Not through brute force and terror. But I'll never be able to conquer this world until I've defeated you and Kenshiro first. It was a marvelous fight. Kenshiro bears the burden of grief with an unbreakable heart. He has embraced his destiny as the successor. Then why do you have to leave the village again? Sara, I made a promise a long time ago and now I must see it through. A promise to my brother. You can't mean to fight your brother. I gave my word and I'll keep it, even if it should come at the cost of my life. <gasps> but that's... And Sara, <sighs> if I am to keep this promise, then I am going to need you to help me. You need... my help? You have a good working knowledge of vital points. I'm sure you can guess what I'm going to do. Not death life point! Yes. It's the only hope I have of standing against Rao. But in your condition, striking yourself with that technique could be instant death. I know, but I can't keep my word to Rao otherwise. At the very least, I must try. <sighs> Please, would you secure me to this pillar? After all, I may not be able to endure the pain from a death life point strike. But why ask me? Sara, it could only be you. I want you there as I transition into the final phase of my life. Toki. Thank you, Sara. No, I'm the one who should thank you. You showed me the meaning of living in a world of despair. And if this is the only thing I can do for you... I'm sorry. I'm not going to say goodbye, so please, please come back to me. Sara, a part
part of me will never die, because it will live on in Kenshiro, and also within you. I know. <laughs> it looks as if the Death Omen star could fall out of the sky at any moment. At last, the time has come. Let us fulfill our promise, Toki. I'll fight you with everything I've got. Come. Rawr! Any regrets? I chose this path myself, and I regret nothing. The promise we both made in the spring of our youth. Let's see it done. Now, begin! <laughs> It's how they've lived their lives, a declaration of their truest essence. But they're still brothers, aren't they? Can't you stop them? That is why I can't. <laughs> the blood of their shared destiny is seething. My feelings aside, I can't get between them. <laughs> Without hesitation. Impressive, brother. Your impending death has only served to make you stronger. Death can claim no credit for my strength or martial proficiency. None at all. It was your very presence in my life that pushed me to grow. Little brat! <laughs> 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 Where'd the kid go? Please, no more. All right, Toki. Enough. Master. When did you learn that technique? Have you been peeking in the dojo? Is it your wish to learn Hokuto Shinken as well? <laughs> Toki, do you understand the implications of this choice? Hokuto Shinken is passed from one to another. If you both choose to go down this path, then eventually, one of you will be stripped of your techniques. Do you still want to proceed? Yes. So be it. I shall expect you at the dojo tomorrow. Toki, why do you say yes? <laughs> I want to be stronger than you. Time to make good on my vow. Right here. This is where I will surpass you. Nonsense. Not in a thousand years could you be better than me. Toki 
struck Rao's vital points. And yet... <laughs> Still the same old love taps. <clears throat> I told you before, your blade of ice could never pierce my body. I barely felt that. You'll never beat me with such meager power! Whoa, look at him go! Blank mind, Shadow Kill. Using that technique, you anticipate your opponent's strike and counterattack without even thinking about it. There's a move like that? Toki... Toki's gentle fist might lure you in, but Rao's fist of strength repels you. There's simply nothing he can do. Toki can't win like this, even without his illness. The human fear of death is a weakness easily weaponized by any opponent. But I fight with a blank mind, leaving no such opportunities to be exploited. Toki! If you really wanted to surpass me, why didn't you just learn the cold-hearted fist of strength? The kindness you cling to will only serve to hasten your demise. Hmm. I've already seen how this ends. Like this! What? You managed to block my fist of strength? He did it! How the heck did he pull that off? Toki, you learned fist of strength? Yes, Rao. I meant what I said. I always aspire to be stronger than you. The same blood courses through us both, my brother. So I learned the fist of strength, too! <laughs> Can't be. I acquired Fist of Strength, but I swore to keep it sealed away until the time of my final battle. You swore to fight me with everything you have to give. It seems only fitting that I should do the same. Look to the heavens. Do you see it? The Death Omen Star. Oh, it's there. Blazing right above me in the sky. Rao can see it too? Ken, how can that be? Toki's power has called the Death Omen Star to shine over Rao. For not even the gods themselves can see how this battle will end. <laughs> Fine. Shatter my ambitions, but you still must defeat me first! I know just the technique to defeat you. What's happening? A secret Hokuto technique. Battle breathing. You can press your body's energy. As you breathe out, you gather all of that energy in your fist. In just one blow, this will be over. My chance! North Star! Aerial Hundred Rending Fist! My dear older brother Rao, the strongest among us. And if your ambitions hadn't taken you down this hellish path, 
Kenshiro and I would gladly have supported your succession. Farewell! Roar! He won! No. <laughs> the Death Omen Star has fallen over Toki. What? But why? Toki struck Krau's vital points, didn't he? Not good enough. While it was perfectly executed, it seems he no longer has the energy. <clears throat> Impressive. Were it not for your illness, that might have actually killed me. <clears throat> There's no point. It won't work, Toki. Do you really think that it's escaped my notice? The secret you're hiding. Enough now. It's time to end this. Any more and... You'll... You've pursued me ever since we were children. Yours is a cruel destiny, little brother. <laughs> but the destiny we share ends here. Toki! Toki. No. Toki! Toki! Lynn! No. No, don't. Toki hasn't given up yet. Enough. Stop this, Toki. Even with a terminal illness, you are the only warrior who could have spilled my blood. You've mastered one of Hokuto Shinken's strongest attacks. But the secret means by which you've risked your life to learn the Fist of Strength is this. He used Death Life Point. <laughs> it's a strike that can temporarily imbue you with incredible strength. But there is a cost. The technique will shorten your life considerably. Toki, I am not the one who's stolen your life away from you. How could someone with your will be made to wither? How could a mere sickness take so much from a Hokuto son? <laughs> Why are you crying, brother? I thought you had thrown all of your tears away. You once told me to throw away mine, too. <laughs> What's wrong, Toki? Is that all you've got? You couldn't even kill a fly like that. Enough of this. Never let yourself shed those tears again! Brother... If you want to surpass me, bury those tears. Hokuto has no room for them. Burn them away with the flames of strength and ambition. I gave up crying a long time ago. My fist has served me better. <clears throat> Toki, you already knew the truth. You knew you couldn't defeat me with a temporary fist of strength. Yet not once did you waver in the path you had chosen, even with a body so close to death. When we were children, you always aspired to transcend me, and despite the ravages of time, you were prepared to die for that dream. In these tears of mine, perhaps your blade of ice pierced me after all. Rao, I have no regrets. Use that fist to bring my destiny to an end. Toki! With these final tears, I shall never weep again. Farewell, the greatest of my adversaries. 
Farewell, my beloved little brother. This is what you strove for. The Fist of Rao! This blood is my grief. Think of that punch. As your big brother's resentment for the injustice of your destiny. It wasn't my fists that defeated you. It was your own illness. Brother. Toki. The man who strove to surpass me just died. All that's left here is a man battling an affliction. Live the rest of your life in peace, Toki. You can cry if you want. I won't hold it against you. Goodbye, brother. <laughs> Kokuo! Kenshiro, the legend of Keno begins here today, and I shall reign. If you think you can stop me, you're welcome to try! Rao. It was a magnificent battle. No, I'm afraid that in the end I still wasn't able to fulfill the promise I made to Rao. Your promise to Rao? What was it? It was shortly after I joined the Hokuto Temple those many years ago. <sighs> Toki. Why is it you're pushing yourself so hard? So I can one day surpass you. <laughs> that again. Well, you are my brother after all. For all that ridiculous goodness of yours, I guess the same blood still flows through us both. Listen, Toki. One day my strength will be unrivaled. This fist will seize the world. But if... If what? If I ever stray down a darker path... I need to know that my brother will be there to stop me. Promise me, Toki. Uh, I promise, brother. That was the promise I made with Rao. I understand. I'm so sorry. These last tears are for a promise I was unable to keep to a brother that I failed. Toki, I vow to fulfill that promise for you. Let that be the destiny of the Hokuto successor. Can... Shiro... Toki... Finally, I can feel the heavens are smiling down upon me.
In a sea of nuclear fire, the madness of the human race burned the world to its foundations. As the ashes were swept away on the wind, a lawless wasteland emerged, ruled solely by violence. And from that savage wilderness, a conqueror was born. A man by the name of Rao. Taking on the title Ken O, the King of Fists, he ruled the citizenry with brutality and fear. And only one man would dare stand in the way of Rao's military rule. Get up, you little wretch! <laughs> Come on! I told you to stand! What do you even do? I heard he refused to fight in Keno's army. Is he an idiot? They'll kill him! I said to get your ass up! And start walking, bitch! Oh. Thought you could defy Keno and get away with it, huh? Then let's make an example out of you! Please, sir! I beg you to let him go! Huh? What's your deal, lady? Leave him be! I'm carrying this man's child! He only refused to join the army because he didn't want us to be apart! If you have to kill someone, kill me! Uh, a child, you say? Uh. Keno's army makes no exceptions for anyone, but it's not like we're completely merciless. Then grant us mercy, please, kind sirs. Um, you're asking so nicely. <laughs> But it ain't gonna do you any good. No good, no good. <laughs> nice try, though. Since your fella doesn't want to walk, we can execute him here. Hey, find us a volunteer. <laughs> you stay right there. <laughs> We're looking for some brave soul to play executioner today. If no one wants to step up, we'll have to kill you all. What, no volunteers? <laughs> if no one's gonna grow any balls, we'll have a slaughter on our hands. I'll do it. Well, looky here. We got ourselves a hero. Here you go. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Where is he? Right there, dumbass. Hurry up and kill him. <laughs> what the, the... Moron? That's not how you swing. <sighs> Who is this asshole? Where do you think you're going? How are you? What do you think? You can kill me with a single finger? Do you? Can't I? Of course not! I'm a captain in the Keno army! <gasps> Hold on! Let's talk about this! You're asking for my mercy. That's right! I'm so sorry! I'll dedicate my life to good! <laughs> I'm afraid it's too late. The moment I move my finger is the moment you die. No, there's no way. You've got to be joking. Nothing to joke about. Are you all right? I am. But how can I ever thank you? There's no need. I once loved a woman who was taken from me and killed. I couldn't watch that happen to anyone else. That's all this was. Wait. Can you tell us her name? If our child is a girl, we'll name her after your lost love. We want to honor our savior, please. I beg of you. Yoria.
Across its 1800-year history, Hokuto Shinken has been renowned as the ultimate assassin's martial art, and Kenshiro, its successor. He used his martial art to defeat those who would prey upon the weak. In time, people began to call him savior and entrust him with their wishes for peace. The fearsome conqueror and the people's messiah, fate has led them here to a fierce and tragic duel to the death. Two brothers, both of whom once aimed to reach the pinnacle of Hokuto Shinken, Rao, the elder brother, and Kenshiro, the younger. I don't think you'll be needing that armor anymore. There's not a soul left in this country who could dare rise against our Keno. I must admit, Reyna, you did a magnificent job as the captain of his Imperial Guard. You helped his dream finally come true. No. Even if this nation is at peace, Rao's dream is far from over. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Next he'll sail across the ocean and bring peace to Asura. That's when I, Akasachi the Pirate, will have a part to play. Yes. That is my dream, one I share with Rao. I will say, I don't understand what Kino is thinking, not marrying a fine woman like yourself. In my day, I would have snapped you up like that. Rao only has room in his heart for one woman. Yudia may be dead, but Rao cannot stop thinking about her. And I don't believe he ever will. Stuck on one woman for all time. Seems like Kino's pretty dense on that front. He is, for not recognizing the love that's right in front of him. But still, I intend to wait right here. Until the day Rao returns my love. Are my favorite boots, too. Uh -huh. uh, uh. What fools these people were. I'm frankly astonished that any buffoons who would defy Keno's rules still live. Who are these people, Balga? A band of rebels who claim to march under the banner of Nanto Volunteer Army. Their leader allegedly stands at the summit of the 108 sects of Nanto Seiken and is known only as the last Nanto general. The last Nanto general. <sighs> it is said that when Nanto Seiken is in disharmony, a general will appear to light the way, though the true identity of this person remains unknown. Your Majesty, do not trouble yourself. These rebels are little more than a collection of emaciated worms. General or no, they're no match for you. 
Why, I imagine I can handily wipe them out all on my own. White bands? What is the significance of the cloth around their arms? They represent hope. In the style of the man they call their savior, Kenshiro. They believe Kenshiro's their salvation? <laughs> what is this? I'm sure enough the flames, one of the five chariot stars, and you fools have fallen right into my trap! Flames, huh? Brow! Your mad ambition ends today! Die! May the general's light shine on eternal! Is this heat all that you can muster? Flames will never turn my ambition to ash! Lord Kenno! Oh, Lord Kenno didn't even take a scratch! Girak. Uh, sir! I need intel on the last Nanto general. Find out who it really is. Even Shuren's suicide attack wasn't enough to defeat Rao. I suspect Rao is the strongest in all the land. At this point, it's unlikely even Kinshiro could defeat him. If only Toki were here. There's little point in dwelling on the impossible. They say Toki recently succumbed to his illness and passed from this world. Our only hope now is that Kinshiro makes his way to the Nanto stronghold and decides to join us in our fight against Rao before it's too late. Then what are we waiting for? We know where Kenshiro is. I'll bring him here myself. It seems the time has come. Ken. so sad, little brother. I'm sorry, Toki. I failed you. Shin stole Yuria from me. I wasn't able to save her. I know you loved her too. But in the end, it only made you more powerful. Sorrow gave way to righteous fury. But, brother... Kenshiro, I hear the voices call your name. They're calling out to you, asking for your help. Live on for the people who need your aid. I swear I will. I'm sorry I won't be able to share your path of hardship. Forgive me. Okay. Little brother. I'm going on ahead. Brother Toki, live on inside of me. Like I promised you. I'll live on for those who need my aid. You offer flowers at a gravestone, right? <laughs> but I haven't seen so much as a petal in these lousy old ruins, so what are we supposed to do? <laughs> hmm? Shoot. I feel bad for Ken, you know. It seems like he really loved his girlfriend, but she's just gone. And now Toki's passed away on us, too. But... As long as we're around, <laughs> no one would say Ken's all alone in this world. Right, Lin? Huh? <laughs> so, you supposed to be Ken Shido? That depends. Any chance you've heard the stories of Fudo the Ogre? And what exactly would an ogre want with me? You are the successor of Hokuto Shinken, aren't you? I once challenged your predecessor, Ryuken, to a fight. But he ran like a coward. <laughs> so I came to you to settle things. My master, I see. Uh, hey! Uh, are you running away too? Really? 
No one turns their back on me! Not if they hope to live! You didn't even try to strike my vital point. Why not follow through? Do you want to die? <sighs> Haven't you ever taken a good look at your own face? Huh? Oh, my face? You have the face of a good person. Don't make light of Hokuto Shinken. I'm sure my master saw it too. Uh, uh, this is the might of Hokuto Shinken. This is what Kenshiro is capable of. The truth of the matter is, I've come to take you back with me, Kenshiro. Take me back. I am one of the five chariots of the South Star, Fudo of the Mountains. My master, the last Nanto General, awaits you and humbly requests your presence. The last Nanto General? He's talking about the boss of the Nanto Volunteer Army. We have risen up in revolt against Keno and his military, but we can't win without you. Please help us. I've received a report that Fudo of the Mountains, a member of the Five Chariot Stars, has met with Kenshiro. What? They've now struck up an alliance, and after being splintered under Souther's rule, I predict that the majority of the 108 sects of Nanto Seiken will waste no time in joining their side. One can only assume that this will serve to embolden the Volunteer Army as well. Balga, what are you so afraid of? It's always an endless stream of doom and gloom out of your frowning mouth. It's gotten to the point where just looking at you makes me depressed. It, it isn't that I am afraid by any means, but Kenshiro is a concern. Why is he a concern? The likes of Sheen handily defeated Kenshiro with Nanto Seiken and even stole Yuria. And need I remind you that Sheen was defeated without even facing his majesty. Deigning to fight Kenshiro would be a blight upon Keno's reputation. After all, Keno is the invincible king of conquerors. Oh, your majesty. The time has never been more ripe. If we destroy the Volunteer Stronghold now, the world is as good as yours. Victory is at hand! Very well. Muster every one of our troops, and prepare to ask Nanto General's fortress! Bring me the General's head! Kill anyone who stands in our way! Yes, sir! Ryuken. Still hold a grudge over the murder? Does your resentment of me keep you from heaven? That Girak is a crafty one, isn't he? Crafty? The man calls you your majesty. Your majesty is an honorific reserved for an emperor. Despite your ambition, you have yet to achieve domination. But he calls you that just the same. The bootlicker. Hmm. Immaterial. Very well. But what surprises me is the fact that you went along with his plan. All to avoid a showdown with Kenshiro, it seems. Are you afraid? Don't be absurd. I could crush Kenshiro like an insect. Then why are you so hesitant to take matters into your own hands? If you were to kill Kenshiro yourself, could you not dispose of the volunteer army at your leisure? Kenshiro defeated Holy Emperor Souther. If we fight, I will not walk away unscathed. I cannot appear injured before the Keno army. They would collapse into a violent mob. They're little more than man-eating demons. Only a demon who devours demons can restrain them. I cannot allow myself to be wounded. It is a fragile thing, this would-be empire of yours. Leave me be, Ryuken! The 
Sullivans themselves have decided my fate. The right to rule is mine alone. Open the gate! Keno is going into battle! Open the castle gate! Rao has deployed his forces to attack the last Nanto general earlier than we predicted. We have to get there before them, no matter what it might take. Fudo! Hey, we're starting to run on empty here. What do you want to do? Let's make a quick stop at my village. We can gas up there. Here's my village. Let's fill the tank up and go. The general's location is still about a day's drive away from here. You call it a village, but nobody's around. <laughs> hey, kids! Your dad's back! Hey, Dad! Welcome back! Hey, Dad! Welcome back! Th that's wild! How the heck did you even have all of these kids? They've all been orphaned one way or another over the years. I took them all in, so now they're my children. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to play with you today. There's a place I gotta go and a few things I need to do. All right, Kenshiro. Rao is getting closer. We need to hurry. You're not going to be coming along with me. What the hell are you talking about? This isn't for your sake. The... Oh. You are the only person these kids have. But I gotta... I say the person who thinks ten years ahead plants a tree. But the person who thinks one hundred years ahead raises a child. As for you, live for the sake of peace one hundred years in the future. Thank you, Kenshido. But I'm going to have to ask for your forgiveness. We five chariot stars have concealed the general's identity from everyone for a long time, all in order to prevent the secret from ever finding its way to Rao or his people. What is Rao's connection to the general? The general is the one and only woman whom Rao has ever loved. Likewise, she's the one and only woman for you. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that the last Nanto general is actually... The love of your life. Lady Yuria still lives. <laughs> <laughs> Yuria is still alive. Yuria is heir to the rightful Nanto bloodline that we chariot stars are sworn to protect. As Sheen's atrocities continued to escalate, it became clear that Lady Yuria would have to fake her death, a task that we were there to assist with. Lady Yuria has been suffering, living in deception like this. She's been waiting for you to realize your destiny, to become a Hokuto savior. She has cast away her own happiness to bring light to this world. Yuria. Finally. It's been a long road, but our reunion with Kenshiro is at hand. I only wish it were a happier one. By faking my death, I've caused Kenshiro to suffer. My destiny is a heavy burden. Look upon this town, my lady. Look upon its people. You've made this a place of freedom and equality. People from elsewhere hear the rumors, and more come every day. People who had forgotten what 
peace was. Look upon the volunteer soldiers who want to throw off the yoke of Keno. These brave souls have risen up again because they believe in you. The white cloth they wear are symbols of courage and peace. In these troubled times, people look to you as a caring mother star. Your responsibility now is to shine brightly and warmly upon them forevermore. <laughs> I saw it all. I heard it all. Oh, what a surprise. Yoria, long presumed dead, is actually alive. Weasley wretch! Keno will be most pleased to hear this news. You fool! There's nowhere to run! What? Did he really? Just you wait! You'll get what's coming to you! <laughs> Lord Kenno, according to a report from our spies, the defenses around the fortress exterior are surprisingly thin. Instead, the Nanto Volunteer Army is holding the fortress from the inside, and they are prepared to fight. Holding the fort, my ass! The enemy's nothing but a bunch of weary civilians! We have nothing to fear! Let's just wipe them all out! You say that, but the enemy's advisor, Rihaku, is known to be quite resourceful. We may be walking into a trap. <laughs> Uh. Girok. After intensive espionage, I have at last solved the mystery of the last Nanto general's identity. Go on. It's unbelievable. Sheen had us fooled this entire time. I care nothing for the affairs of the dead. Take care not to waste my time, Girak. Good, Your Majesty. I will hasten directly to the point. The general is... Yuria. Hmm? She's apparently been alive this whole time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. How did I say something to offend you, sire? Oh, oh. You bastard, Sheen. You believed that you could deceive me. <laughs> Keno, are you... There's no more need of a war council. Uh, 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 my hair! Kenshido, we have been awaiting your arrival. Please come this way. It's them. But so much sooner than I had expected. make the choice. You will serve me or die. Do not let Kiddo through! Please wait here for now. They'll bring the general in to see you. It's far too late for you to escape me, Yuria!
childish tricks. I'm impressed, Ralph. But your path ends here. We never let Lady Yuria fall into your grasp. Rihaku of the ocean. You would sacrifice your own life simply to protect Yuria. Take one step and see. I'll make sure this chamber is your coffin. I can see that you're trying to buy her time. So I'll have to finish you off quickly. <laughs> Here's where you die, Rihaku. Hurry, Lady Yuria! This way! Kenshino is right through this door! Where's Ken? He said that your life would be in danger as long as Rao was around. So he went to him. This is... Ken's. It is. Then I'll wait right here. So much of my life has been spent waiting for that man. And I'll continue to wait for as long as it takes. That's what I promised, Ken. Yuria was born under the star of the mother! To think even a motherless child like you could have been moved by the star's affection! <laughs> But your feelings will go unrequited. In that case, I'll kill her so nobody else can have her. Then Yuria will live on solely inside my heart. Rao. Kenshiro. At last. Kenshiro. Lament, my brother. I'm bringing Yuria home with me. What? <laughs> Stand up, Rao. It's time for you to go back to the heavens. <sighs> However strong you've become, you will never defeat the invincible enemy standing before you, Kenshiro. The conqueror of the world, Keno! We're just one arm. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit flows. Those moves. They're Tokis. North Star Strong Palm Way! How? How did he disappear into thin air? The sadness in his eyes. Is it possible? Before you die, Master, one last question. There is a secret technique called Blank Mind Transmigration. Tell me everything. <clears throat> that technique is beyond even my abilities. It's said no one has ever unlocked a secret in all of Hokuto's nearly 2,000 year history. Never? Nothingness is our mightiest force. Shifting from a state of nothingness into life, that is blank mind transmigration. Bro, this is the one technique you will never learn no matter how powerful you become. You have great strength and ambition, but because of that you do not know grief. And that is why. Only one who has borne the burden of grief can... You. You bear that burden of grief. So you're the most powerful man in the 2,000-year history of Hokuto? I... I see it. The blood of men that Kinsider was fated to fight, it all still pulses through his body to this very day. 
Has the sorrow of battle with these men somehow engraved this secret technique into Kinsido's body? Come, Ro. Toki awaits you in the underworld. <laughs> It can't be. Why am I shaking? What you are experiencing right now is fear. <sighs> My god, Rao is afraid? He can't feel it on a conscious level, but instinctually he's terrified. You think that I am terrified? Of my youngest brother, Kanshiro? I do not accept that! I am the eldest Hokuto brother! I will never retreat! I only move forward to victory! Let us see who's afraid! Behold my invincible technique! Heaven's command charge! You're not the only one who never retreats. Bro, um, today I put an end to your ambitions. This is bad. It's my final trap. Kinsuno, get back! <laughs> you will pay for this, Ryaku. Out today, the heavens have spoken. They remain on my side forever. Lord Kenshiro! Get him to a doctor. Yes, sir. K Kenshiro, forgive me. Like a fool, I underestimated your power and installed those traps. That may be my life's greatest regret. It's okay. Hold on, where are you going? After Rao. Right now, he's a wounded lion. If I don't stop him, he'll tear through every last person he comes across. The mighty Rao, Keno the Conqueror, is afraid even in his dreams. Is all this your doing? Rao, do you really intend to keep fighting? What do you mean by that? Your match is already decided. What? Yuria, you dare to look on me with such pity. The greatest shame a man can suffer is the pity of the woman he desires. Keno is dead. I'll now be known as the Demon King. And I shall drown Kenshiro in a sea of blood! to Yuria. Keno has abducted her. Please, Fudo, we can't rescue her without you.
What are you waiting for? We need to hurry! It's just that I... Hmm? Uh. It's fine, Dad. You have to fight, but we're with you. Don't worry, we're gonna be okay. That's right, because you're our dad. You're good kids. I've good news. You don't have to go anywhere because I have come to you. But he just kidnapped Lady Yuria. Why would he come here? The widely admired and virtuous Fudo. But that's not the man I've come to see. I know that demon's blood flows through your veins. You may have fooled everyone into believing you're a saint, but I know that the demonic blood that once terrified even me boils hot within you, and I need that blood right now. What do you want with demonic blood? Hmm. A trial before my victory. Reawaken the demon within you and fight me, or I will butcher every single one of these children! If I can swallow that demon's spirit. We, we surrender. <laughs> if I can swallow the spirit of that demon, then I'll be able to banish my fear of Kenshiro. Listen to me! If I retreat so much as a single step, then I command you to fire all your arrows into my body! Don't you dare show me any mercy! Yeah! If I retreat, then I'll die. As a fool who couldn't even defeat his little brother. I know that Rao must have come to this fort. Where is he at now? What? You think I'm a snitch? Is that all you got? It'll take more than that, jackass! Is that right? <laughs> Care for another? I can keep spinning you. Yeah, that'd be great. No! I mean, uh, Lord Kino. He went to Fudo's village. He what? <sighs> oh, Fudo. Maybe you should drink my blood. At this rate, you'll be the weakest demon in hell. <sighs> <sighs> I don't feel it. I don't even feel a twinge of fear. <clears throat> the terror I felt when I was facing Kenshiro must have been a mere trick of my imagination. 
I have no further need of you. You and your brats can all die together. I see. This whole time you've been afraid of facing Kenshiro again. Then allow me to show you what real fear is like! You asked for it. Now you'll get to see me as a demon. Hmm. This is the demon I saw back then. Compassion clearly only serves to dull the fists. This is it. This is the very same sad gaze that struck fear into my heart. I'm going to take in your blood and your fear together. No, Rao. This battlefield is where you are going to die. It isn't hatred, nor is it anger. What is producing that gaze? It's over. The line I drew wasn't necessary. There's no way I'll ever retreat or feel fear. But how? After my attack, your body should be long dead by now. Of course you don't understand. Whether my body is reduced to a piece of meat, or even just a single drop of blood staining the sands of the wasteland, I will never stop fighting. Hmm. You really are a fool. Very well. Make me cross the line so my archers use me as target practice. Sad that you still cannot see the truth. Look for yourself. Hmm? What's advancing are the hearts of these children. You can see it, right? The strength that resides behind those sorrowful eyes. Their eyes. Ken, Shido. Oh, die, Rao! You made me back over the line. It's because you looked at me and saw Kenshiro. The same fear that gripped you before coursed through your body once again. It went rigid with terror and you had to step back or you would have been shattered into a thousand pieces. There's no doubt who won today, Kenshiro and I! Even if this is my time to die, as long as I've managed to engrave terror into that body of yours, you will never defeat Kenshiro ever again!
Why didn't you fire your arrows at me? But, sir, if we didn't fire them at Fudo... Oh! Shano! Do any of you have a spine, huh? If I lost the fight, I wouldn't want to be rescued! <laughs> <laughs> Kenno, please stop this. They only wanted to help you. They did it for you. Bulger. They did it for the sake of your supremacy. <laughs> Lord Kenno. Fools, the lot of you. Did win, didn't he? Or Dad beat him. He beat Rao. I see. Listen, Kenshiro. <clears throat> I'd like you to make me a promise. Please use these hands to embrace these children and this age. <laughs> this is Fudo of the Mountains. Final wish. What reason would Rao have to harm his own people? Our lack of prudence in assisting him has sent him flying into a furious anger. It's as if his conqueror's ambition has been completely abandoned. He's obsessed with fighting Kenshiro at the expense of all else. Even blazing flames cannot burn this perfect body. And yet, mere sadness is capable of robbing it of all its strength. This time it's Toki. Rao. Your ambition is so great that human grief has somehow escaped your notice. Take Reyna, for instance. She has dedicated her body and soul to your dream of domination. What do you think it is that drives her on? Reyna and I are united by the ambition we share. Her ambition has always been her driving force. Then what are your feelings for Yuria? Ambition again. It's why acquiring her was so important to me. No, Rao. Both of these are love. What? If you can't see the love in these actions, the Blank Mon technique will elude you. Only one with love carved into his heart, who is born the burden of grief, can become the world's most powerful man. Are you talking about Kenshiro? Then only one path remains for me to take. My sole desire in my life is to defeat my younger brother, Kenshiro! It seems you're already too far gone. Is this truly to be your destiny? are weeping. Rao! Yuria, 
I have never truly understood love, and so I have never understood grief. But right now, there is a way that I can learn both at once. Yuria, I want you to give me your life! <laughs> You want my life? That's right. By losing you, I may be able to comprehend love for the first time. Right now, all I can think about is fighting Kenshiro. But Rao... Yuria, curse me for this if you wish! <gasps> do not do this, Keno! Hers is the only life you must spare! Please, come to your senses. We do not care what you do to us! Please, just let her live! You've all been moved by Yuria's star of fate, the affectionate mother. But I won't be swayed! Call me insane if you so wish! I need to take Yuria's life! I'm worried about this injury. You won't be able to give Ken your all if it's not treated. What? For two men destined to face off against one another, it's all that I'm able to do, to see them both off with an open heart. It's hard to kill me if I'm looking at you, isn't it? It's time that I return to the heavens. Mm. inside of me as grief, Yuria! <coughs> Yuria? You... you have an illness? I have only been given so much time in this life. So I decided to follow my destiny, never once defying my fate. If Nanto moves, Hokuto follows. So move the heavens. Such was my destiny. So that's why you wore the mask of the Nanto General. That's why you have waited for Kenshiro. Throwing away your own chance at happiness. If my life can bring some light into this dark world, then send me to the heavens. What an incredible woman. <laughs> tears. I can still produce tears. But between Yuria and Kenshiro, I cannot pursue two separate hopes. Give me Yuria! <laughs> I wonder what the topic of today's war council will be. I believe His Majesty may reward us. Since Yuria's abduction, her army's on its knees. His Majesty's already achieved hegemony. Soon he'll be able to take the official title of Emperor and the Heavenly Mandate to boot. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be promoted from General Advisor to Commander-in-Chief or Prime Minister. I just hope you'll give me your patronage once you have your title. <laughs> Count on it. I summoned you to receive the rewards you rightly deserve. <laughs> General Advisor Girak, rise. <clears throat> At once. <laughs> Come before me. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> so, Girak, what do you desire? Just say it. I would gladly accept anything you see fit to give me, Your Majesty. In that case, <laughs> death. <laughs> This world has no more need for demons, and I am the demon who devours them. I will eat all of you right here! <laughs> Lord Kenno, but why? So I can fight. I can now fight Kenshiro without any reservations. If I had died, those fools wouldn't have bothered to bring peace to the land. That really would have been my loss. Your loss, Lord Kenno? But now, there's no way I can lose. If I do, the heavens will make a mockery of me. You fight for the sake of peace in the land. Kenshiro fights for peace in people's souls. But you both keep fighting for peace. I only see that now that it's too late for one of you. The rain really let up at the perfect time, huh? Oh. <laughs> Ken, what is that? Uh, Kokuo! <laughs> Ken, what? I believe Ra was summoning me. Ride with me, Lin and Bot. I want you to see this final battle with your own eyes. Uh. Makes sense. What is this place? This is where my brothers and I did our training, where we strove to become the best. <gasps> Over there! Ken, look! <laughs> Rao. Kenshiro, this is the place where we will finally bury your bones along with 1800 years of Hokuto history. No, Rao. Here is where I bury you and your ambition. I no longer possess any ambition. I only care about how this fight will end. My name will be remembered as the one who vanquished the successor to Hokuto Shinken. The new history of the truly powerful will begin right here with Rao. Kenshiro, crumble into dust! Ah! 
Hokuto Shinken's secret technique. Blank mind transmigration always results in death. Blank mind transmigration. <sighs> My heart too is now dyed deep with blood. I carry the burden of sorrow just like you. What? <sighs> Yuria. Oh, you bastard! How could you? I have never before killed a woman with my own hands. In turn, Yuria's life inspired my own blank mind transmigration. ends. In the end, his fortress fell all too easily. So, Balga, can you tell us why Rao gave up his dream of domination to focus on the battle with Kinshiro? To attain true supremacy. What? Rao's domination had one guiding light, following the dictates of the heavens to bring peace to the land. And those who opposed him? They're the ones who would bring peace to people's souls. That is the epiphany Keno had thanks to Lady Yuria and her abounding kindness. Then what is the meaning of his battle with Kinshiro? It is how a conqueror ends. When he retreats, that is his moment to die. Knowing that, what greater wish could one have than to die at the hands of a stronger opponent? Now come. I need no glory. I need no titles. All I desire, it's victory in this battle. <laughs> I suppose I should say this pain is pleasant. After all the time we spent waiting for this fated day. Now that we're both using the secret technique, the ultimate blank mind transmigration, it's useless as a weapon. That's all it took to put us back at square one. This might as well have been a guileless training battle from our childhood. Here I come, Kenshiro! <laughs> 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 You've been training since you were a child, but being older than you, I've been able to train more. I will have to remember to thank the gods. After all, they were the ones who decided to place a man like you in front of me! They're not defending, just trading attacks. It's strange. I don't see any hatred in either of them. There's something else, but can you see what's happening? A never-ending battle, ever since they were both boys. 
Just give it up already. That's enough for today. No, I won't give up. I swear that I'll get stronger. For what reason? To surpass you, Rao! And why would you do that? Because of what you told Toki! You said that if you went down the wrong path, you wanted Toki to stop you! Why only Toki? So you... I'm a Hokuto brother, too! I'm your little brother, Rao! If this keeps up, this duel is going to kill them both. Ken! Can you really see my fighting spirit? Ken is looking only at Rao's fighting spirit. This next blow is gonna be the last. How do you know? Ken said before that if two opponents scrutinize each other, they'll just keep dodging each other's moves and the fight will never end. So if he lures out Rao's fighting spirit and waits for the right moment... But he won't be able to get close to Rao when he's like that. No, Rao's fighting spirit will eventually falter. He'll take advantage of that and unleash a blank mind strike. Ken's staking his life on this gambit. <sighs> My next move will be the final farewell to a brother I have always admired. The one Toki and I strove to be like my incredible and ambitious elder brother, Rao. That image of you is etched in my memory and will last forever. Rao's fighting spirit is starting to recede. Even if it falters for just a moment, Ken won't miss his chance. Rao will be wide open to his attack. Rest, Yuria. It's almost done now. Their long-awaited fight will be finished. And finally, finally, both of their souls will be at rest. Very well. I'll shatter your clan and your body alike. All that I am, I'll put it all into this next attack. Now prepare yourself for the fist of my whole soul! Rao's fighting spirit is gone! My feelings for you, for Toki and for Yuria, will live on forevermore. Even your mighty fist of strength, which can crush both heaven and earth alike, cannot break their hearts. This fight is over. It's all right now, Rao. You can finally admit it. You never abandoned love. It was simply carved deep down inside of your heart. I can't say that. Not even at the moment of my death. Love has no place in my fists. I devoted all my pride to these fists and to being the eldest Hokuto brother. I will show you how Rao the Apocalyptic Conqueror will die! Stop it, please! It can't be.
Kenshiro, this is the end. My fists are sure to break you into pieces! Uh. <sighs> How easily you called my bluff. You realized that my fists don't have enough power left to crush you and didn't bother to dodge. Rao. Only now do I understand how you've survived so many fierce battles against so many powerhouse opponents. You see death and evade it. And somehow along the line, the emotions of those opponents, those friends, gave you strength that surpassed my own. Hmm. Friends or foes, there was only one man I ever thought worthy of either title, our brother Toki. <sighs> Let me look at you, and see the face of the man who beat me, who defeated Rao. Huh. I'm proud of you, little brother. Brother, you are my greatest foe and the greatest friend I ever had. Find your happiness, and enjoy a quiet life. Oh, you... Reina, I finally know what love is. My body may die here, but my soul will go to you. Please forgive me. Farewell, Hashira. Once I'm strong enough, I swear I'll come back home. Kenshiro, this is farewell. I'm going to the heavens now, where Toki has been waiting for me. And right now, I can proudly say I need no help in getting there. I lived my life without a single regret! Star has fallen. <laughs> Just look at that. At long last, light has returned to this world. If not for Rao, Kinshiro, and Lady Yuria's tireless hard work, well, this world would likely have been shrouded in darkness for all time. Brother, the heavens, the heavens are smiling. Rest now. Rao is the only one who could have brought order and governance to this violent place. But ruling through terror will never bring about a true or lasting peace. After he completed his unification, maybe Rao was hoping to be defeated, 
so he could be replaced by someone who felt love. That's the feeling I get. I think he wanted Ken to be that person. That's why he said he didn't have any regrets. Yes, and in his last moments, Rao rediscovered love. Brother, find peace with Toki. I'll keep you alive inside my heart. And live on as the successor of Hokuto Shinken. Rina, dear. In the distance. spent most of my life with you, and I have no regrets. I have faith in Kenshiro. He'll honor our feelings someday, and finally cross the stormy sea to return to our homeland. Just as you did all those years ago, crossing the sea with baby Kenshiro in your arms. Sada me 